Let me go, let me go, let go of me, let go of me. She was trying to say to Krishna. But if Bhagavan's lips are in someone, can the person go away? So in this moment, Putana, she started agonizing. And then, she manifests a gigantic body, her original body of demon. When Putana was on the sky, flying, like just jumping kind of, then there was a big hurricane, even great trees were almost falling down, dust everywhere. The atmosphere, the sky was full of dust. Then suddenly, seeing this condition in Braj, all Vrajavasi became so impressed. All the Vrajavasi came to the, to the house of Nanda Maharaj. And they saw Putana is flying on the sky. And Bal Gopal is on the breast of Putana. Hearing this, Madhya Shoda, she fainted immediately. Somehow, and all the Vrajavasis, all the Vrajavasis, they also came running. After going a little bit far, the big body of Putana, she came next to Matura and then she fell. And then, it was a place where the huge garden of Kamsa was there. And then the big body of Putana fell, just there. All the Vrajavas came running. Putana had such a huge body. Just like a huge mountain, like a huge mountain. The Vrajavas somehow, they took some stairs, ladders, like ladders and went on the top of the body of Putana. And then they saw the baby Gopal was, so he was safe and sound. And Krishna didn't have anyone scratch on his body, nothing. And then the Vrajavasis took Bal Gopal and gave him to Ma Yashoda. And then the dead body of Putana, the, her dead body, so they cut her body into pieces. And then the Vrajavasis started burning her body. Her body was so big. How to burn it? So they cut the, her body into pieces and pieces, in small, small pieces. To burn her body. Daha samskar. Something impressive happens. When, like I told before, she was, she was very stinky. She used to drink blood from babies. She used to drink babies and drink their blood. That's why her body was so stinky. But something impressive happened. One day you are burning the dead body of Putana. There's so much good fragrance in Braj. How? No, incense. Like incense fragrance. So in this way, in Braj, the Suganda, this fragrance, amazing fragrance was everywhere. Now the Vrajavasi became really impressed. Mother Achad is explained. The commentaries also explain that the Adharamarit, if someone has the touch of Krishna's lotus lip, lips, the person's body will be of course so fragrant. If once you drink the Adharamata nectar of lips of Krishna, the body of the person will be so fragrant, so fragrance, there's no doubt. If Krishna touched his lips in anyone, the person was so fragrant. So Krishna was only six days old, Gopal. And he put his lotus lips. 
Like a servant of Mother Jashoda. Bhagavad explains. Kalkut poison on her breasts. Putana didn't do any sadhan in bhajan. Not even satkarma, auspicious activity like donation, charity, nothing. I told before, in her previous life, who was she? Ratnabuli. She was the daughter of Bali Maharaj. She just came in disguise of a mother, nothing else. She came to kill him. Externally, she just came in disguise of a mom, of a mother. Oh, I came to breastfeed you like this. Bhagavan sent her to Golok, not to Vrindavan. Bakya means she is the sister of uh, Bakasu. Putana. Who would want to take shelter of Bhagavan? So he was so merciful. Putana didn't do any good activity. She didn't do any good activity. Didn't follow any good activity. Nothing. She was only in disguise of a mom. To kill Bhagavan. That's why Bhagavan gave her such a good destination. So imagine those who really come for really serve Bhagavan. Imagine which kind of destination God will give to that person. Who can? If once you come to the shelter of Bhagavan, that's it. Bhagavan will give you each kind of destination. Who can explain? That's why her name was Putna. Putna means pure. Na means no, not. She was not pure. She was impure. Put na, put means pure. Na means no, not. She's impure. She was a demoness. So, so Bhagavan Krishna gave a good destination to her. No, any demigod, demigoddess, God is opportunity. Like demigods, demigoddesses, they, oh sorry, no demigod can give this kind of fruit like Krishna gave. Demigods, demigoddesses, they don't have 
any desire, any uh, potency to give mukti. They only, can only give trivarga, dharma, artha, kama. Only person who can give liberation, who can give liberation, is Shri Krishna. So, Shasta explains, we should worship Bhagavan Mukunda. Once Arjun, he told Bhagavan, he put in this world, why do they worship so many gods and demigodesses? Oh, because of so many desires. The jiva has sat, raja, tamaguna, deluded by the modes of nature. That's why people worship demigods. But actually, demigods and demigoddesses, they cannot independently give anything to anyone. All these demigods and demigoddesses, they actually, they must ask or, to, or take from Govinda, Mukunda, Krishna, and then they give to the people. That's why Shasta explains. In the Gita, Bhagavan says, if someone directly worships Vishnu, he will give everything. And so one of the names of Bhagavan is Mukunda. Service to Mukunda. All the demigods, they are actually savior, servants of Bhagavan. So in this way you should honor the demigods because they are servants of God. Shasta explains, you should never dishonor any demigods or demigoddesses. You should always honor them. Because all these demigods and demigoddesses, they are servants of Lord, following the instructions. All these demigods, by the desire of Lord, that's why they are performing all their duties according to the desire of Shri Krishna. For example, the sun is rising in the east and setting in the west. The wind is also flowing, blowing. Even if for a moment, if uh, we don't take, we don't breathe, we'll die. So, all these demigods, they are doing everything according to the instructions of Lord. Indra, all the demigods, they are performing their duties. All the limbs of our body, actually, the demigods are also present in our limbs. Bhagavan explains. Most demigod is in our hands, that we work with our hands. Indra is the, the presiding date of our hands is Indra Dev. Presiding date of our eyes is Surya Dev. You can see. Presiding date of the nostrils is, are the Ashwini Kumaras. Presiding date of the feet is Vishnu. Vishnu, presiding date of the legs, feet. So all the demigods, they have their duties and they're all doing everything according to the instructions of Lord. For example, to rule a kingdom also, many ministers, they have their roles, many kinds of ministers to manage a kingdom and everything. In the same way, this universe, who is actually managing this universe? Bhagavan Vishnu. By the orders of Bhagavan Vishnu, all the demigods and demigoddesses, they do all their activities. Shasta explains. Sri Hari, he is our worshipable deity. But, Brahma and demigods, they are doing their duties. Don't dishonor them. We should not dishonor the demigods. Also, dishonor the demigods. After that, they must go to hell. Don't criticize anyone. Honor everyone. Another point is also that Swami Bhagavan, he's sitting in the heart of all the living entities. Same Bhagavan, Vishnu is in the heart of everyone. That's why, but that's why you should worship Bhagavan Vishnu. Bhagavan Vishnu. 
ब्रज में ऐसे पूर्णामय भगवान और कौन हो सकता भगवान कृष्ण के शरण में सो शुड सरेंडर टू भगवान विष्णु और उनकी आराधना करें वर्शिप हिम इसी प्रकार श्री गोस्वामी पार्वती महाराज के निकट मोक्षण की लीला कथा आगे जाकर के श्री सुखदेव गोस्वामी श्री गोस्वामी पाद ले जाए ब्यूटीफुल चाउडहुड स्टोरीज ऑफ कृष्ण चुपरकित महाराज विशेष करके स्पेशली Krishna came comes from the spiritual world to give mercy to the devotees. He appears from the spiritual world. So Bhagavan is in the Goloka Vrindavan Dham, enjoying Premaras, immersed in the notion of bliss with his gopis, gopas, his cows. In the Goloka Vrindavan Dham, Jamuna Devi is there, Giriraj Govardhan also. Everything is there in the spiritual world, but still, it's for Bhagavan to give mercy to the people. He comes from the spiritual world. He manifests everything here. Giriraj Govardhan. Giriraj Govardhan. So now we are going to see Giriraj Govardhan. Jamuna Devi. Jamuna Devi also. Everything is there in the Goloka of Vrindavan Dham, the spiritual world. But when Bhagavan performs his pastimes, he also brings all his associates along. He performs his lila and then he goes back to the spiritual world. Here in these sweet pastimes of Lord, all the sinful activities of the soul are destroyed. In this way, Shukadev Goswami Pan, Chod Parikit Maharaj, many kinds of pastimes, pastimes of killing demons. So, the leaders of killing demons, Asura Maran, and also Prema Vinodan Lila, means to increase the love of the devotees. To give happiness to the devotees is that Swayam Bhagavan performs these beautiful and sweet pastimes. So beautiful pastimes of Gopal in Braj. The story of the fruit seller. She used to live in Mathura. She used to sell fruits. So she used to come from Mathura to Vrindavan many times. And she used to hear from the mouth of the Rajavasis all the beautiful stories of Bal Gopal. She was thinking in her mind, she was thinking, if once I would see Gopal, Krishna is Vrancha Kalpataru. He satisfies all our desires like a desire tree. Even a little bit of desire manifesting from Krishna. He'll fulfill all your desires. You don't need to do anything. Even when you chant Harinam, you can see whatever you're thinking while chanting, Nam Prabhu will give you everything. Because what he names is Chintamani. Desire. Stone. Whatever you think, Nama Prabhu will give you. So this fruit seller, she was thinking in her mind, if one would see Bal Gopal's form, so she came to Vrindavan to sell fruits. Take fruits, take fruits, take guava, take banana, follow. Take this pomegranate. She was selling the fruits. Once, what happened? Bal Gopal, he came just like um, walking, like kind of slowly because he had just learned how to walk. 
So some nannies, servants of Maja Shoda were taking care of Gopal so that Gopal would not come out of the house. So on that day, this fruit seller lady, Falu Vikraini, she came to Vrindavan. And then she was screaming very loudly next to the house of Nanda Maharaj. And she was saying, Follow, take fruits, take fruits. Is there anyone who wants fruits? And then Bal Gopal, baby Gopal, you can see the picture. He was thinking in his mind. In the Gita, I say that I give the fruits. You have the right to perform karma, but I will give the fruits. Krishna says in the Gita, right? You have a dikara eligibility to perform karma, but the fruits of your activities will give, I will give. So who is coming, Raj, saying that she's giving fruits? Who is giving fruits? I give fruits. You can do your work, but the fruit of your activities will give. It's Bhagavan. So in his mind, he was thinking, Balgopal is thinking, I am Bhagavan. You have the eligibility to perform activities, karma, but I will give the fruit. Who is giving the fruit today in Braj? So Balgopal, what did he do? Somehow or another, came out of the house and he saw one fruit seller lady old lady saying take fruits take fruits and then Balgopal came out and told her look can you give me some fruits seeing the beautiful sound of the voice of Krishna his beautiful sound of the voice of Shri Krishna hearing this voice the Falvikraini fruit seller lady first of all she was just singing Govinda became completely mesmerized and when she heard this beautiful sound of his voice she became stunned just looking and staring such a beautiful boy Gopal his curly hair long long eyes He's so pretty. He's like Tumuk Tumuk walking like slow, slow Tumuk Tumuk. And then the Falvikrain is for seller lady. Said, Hey Gopal, I'm poor. I survived just selling this shirt to keep my family. Give me some money. Gopal said, But I don't have money. Tomorrow I'll give. Who has seen tomorrow? You're a small kid. Tomorrow you'll maybe playing with other kids. Who will give the money to me? Then Krishna gave a beautiful answer. Krishna said, Hey, Falvikraini fruit seller lady, listen to me. Even if you give a little bit to me, I never forget whoever gives me anything. If you give even something small to Bhagavan, Bhagavan says, I sell myself to that person even. Even if the person offers me patram pushpam, fruit, water, whatever, God says, I become indebted to that person. If the person's offer me even water of the Ganges with tulsi leaf, I sell myself to that person. Bhagavan says, what can I give back to that person? If you just give me one drop of Ganga water, and one tulsi leaf, that's it. Bhagavan says, I'll sell myself to you. What can we give to God? Do you have something which is ours to give? What did you bring to this world when you were born? Do you have something yours belonging to you, so, so you can give? A devotee came and told God, Bhagavan, what can I give to you? Your house is full of jewels. Your wife is Lakshmi Devi. What can I give to you? He told, Hey Bhagavan, your house is full of all the jewels, like a warehouse of jewels. Grihini means wife is Lakshmi. Who is your wife? Directly, Dhanadatri, that person is giving the wealth, Lakshmi Devi. So what can I give to you? Adevati told. This to God. What can I give to you? Then the devotee was thinking in his mind. Okay, hey Bhagavan, 
There's one thing yeah. lacking in you. Your mind is lacking. You don't have a mind. The devotee says, Hey Bhagavan, your mind was stolen by the gopis. That's why the devotee says, I can, I can give one thing. Prabhu, take my mind. And the Gita Bhagavan says, Man mana bhava, give your mind to me, become my devotee, worship me, and do obeisances to me. Oh, devotee, what can you give to me? Give me your mind, right? So the Falvi Kraini, in her mind, she, she said, Gopal, you'll forget tomorrow. And Gopal said, if someone gives me even a little bit, I never forget. In this world, we forget stuff. But Bhagavan does not forget. Even if you give a little bit, even one coin to God, Bhagavan will give you so many things in reward. But still, the food seller said, give me something. And Gopal said, okay. I have some wheat grains in my house here. So I'll just bring this to you. So Gopal, in the patio, like in the courtyard, in the garden, in the yard, there was some some wheat grains so Krishna took those wheat grains but Krishna was a baby he didn't know how to take these grains in his hand so all the grains they were they were actually falling from the gaps of Krishna's fingers Krishna was walking bringing the grains but then all the grains one by one they fell Shasta explains so actually these grains they are Lakshmi herself so Lakshmi Devi, the grains, the Lakshmi was saying, Hey Gobindo, I don't want to leave your lotus feet and go elsewhere. I don't want to. That's why the grains were falling at the feet of Shri Krishna. I don't want to go. That's why all these grains, one by one, were falling. And the eyes of Gopal were just concentrated in the basket of the fruit seller. And Krishna was salivating, drooling, Deku, looking at these nice Gopal fruits. Gopal came, gave one or two grains only to her. On her basket, but like... Fruit seller said, there's nothing there. Like, yeah, it's like really, not even, not even, maybe one or two grains only he put in the basket, like nothing was there, almost nothing. Gopal said, hey fruit seller lady, my mom will catch me. I won't tell me to come back. Then she said, Gopal, only once call me mom and sit on my lap. Gopal was singing in his mind. What to do? So Swayam Bhagavan came in the lap, on the lap of the fruit seller called Vikaini and she embraced Gopal with maternal love Vatsalabhav and after that this Fal Vikaini she took all her, the fruits and gave in the hand of Gopal gave to Gopal handed to Gopal and all the fruits she had in her basket Guava, mango, pomegranate, whatever. She gave, she handed everything to Gopal. But how did Gopal carry home all those fruits? He's Bhagavan, right? There are no doubts. So Gopal took everything and distributed to his friends. And the Falvi Kraini fruit seller, she brought her empty basket. She went away. But after some time on the way, Falvi Kraini, suddenly her basket became so heavy. She put it down on the floor, and she, on the ground, and she saw there were so many diamonds, jewels, gold, so many jewels on her basket. And the fruit seller started crying and said, Oh, Aho. Bhagavan could give me prem, but still he gave me, he could give me prem, but he gave me these material things. 
I got cheated. Pride. So this Father Cain from the cellar, she took all those diamonds and all these things, jewels, everything. She threw all in the Jamuna. And was singing. But many childhood pastimes of Shri Krishna. Once, Durvasa Rishi came to Braj. At that time, baby Gopal Shri Krishna was with his friends playing. When he sees his beautiful form, Durvasa Rishi was only looking, looking. Krishna was playing with his friends and Krishna lost. So Bhav Shridama said, Krishna, you lost. Krishna said, no, I, I, I won. I wasn't defeated. I didn't lose. No, like kids, they have this kind of dispute. Ah, you lost. No. If you lost, you have to become like a horse and we'll ride you. And we'll come on her back and you have to carry us. Krishna said, how can I walk with you on her back? So Krishna was afraid of this and ran away. All his friends were coming and also running behind Krishna. And then Krishna came and hid himself behind the tree. The friends were like, oh, where is Krishna? Where is he? The friend said, Ganheya, we'll do boycotts to you, boycott, means we will not play with you anymore, none of us. Krishna is thinking, if my friends won't play with me, who, who will I play with? So Krishna came out again, from his, where he was hiding, okay, okay, you can ride on my back. Krishna became like a, like a horse. Krishna ke ghore, Krishna ke peet par bade, so this Sakas rode Krishna's back and Krishna fell down like not able to carry him. So the last fraction of Krishna is Ananta Dev who carries all the limited universes on his back. Ananta Dev. But now the Supreme Lord of all universes cannot even carry one or two friends on his back. Nanda Maharaj says, Gopal, carry and bring my wooden shoes. And then Krishna Bal Gopal take the wooden shoes, shoes on his head and falls down. Sometimes Nanda, Nanda Maharaj brings the Paduka, the wooden sandals of Nanda Maharaj on his head. Krishna is the Supreme Lord of all the universes, but now today, He's taking so, sandals of his father on his head. Demigods are doing pranam to him and praying to him. Today, this baby Gopal 
is walking, taking the sandals off, wooden sandals of his father. That's why Shukadeva told Nanda Kim Akarod Brahma. He said in this verse, Nanda Kim Akarod Brahma. Hey Gurudev, mercifully tell me. What was the previous life's pony by his deeds of Nanda Jashoda? Because the fruit of that, Nanda Maharaj obtained Shri Krishna like a son. And Mother Jashoda, she breastfed Gopal. What is this? What is this? Eh? Mother Jashoda, she breastfed Gopal. Eh? So, once breastfeeding Gopal, Mother Jashoda, eh? she Kata saw all the universes in his side, his mouth. Eh? This kata is very beautiful, the kata of Brahmanda Ghar. Krishna ate butter. Sorry, it mud. So the friends came and complained to Mother Jashoda, telling on him, saying, Mom, your kid, your Gopal, ate mud. Mother Jashoda came with a stick and told Gopal, Why did you eat mud? Don't do this. Open your mouth. Gopal opened his mouth and she saw the unlimited universe inside his mouth. This kind of beautiful pastimes took place. Durvasari also came to Ramandreti on the banks of Jamuna. And Gopal was playing with the, his friends at that moment. And there was also an argument going on. Who won and who lost? And Durvasari was looking at that scene. Bal Gopal Krishna came next to Durvasari and said, Hey, Rishi Sadhu, please tell me, who won and who lost? Durvasa couldn't speak not even one word. He was just seeing the beautiful form of Gopal, just looking at him. Then Krishna sat on the lap of Durvasa and said, You are Sadhu, why are you not saying the answer? Who won? Then Krishna himself held the big, big be beards of Durvasa and moving his head to the side, the beard. It's a beautiful pastime. Shukadeva Goswami says, She said, Aho. Look at the good fortune of the Rajavasis, especially the Sakas. How they are playing with Sri Krishna. They go on his, on his shoulders, take his remnants. Krishna himself. Take the food, the remnants of food of Subal Shidam. One Subal Shidam. They told Kaneya. Look, my mom has sent this beautiful Rasagula. Kaneya said, Give me to eat. Then they said, Okay, close your eyes and we will feed you this Rasagula. See the Rasagula, Gopal was a Truly, saliva coming from his tongue and everything. Then Subhashadama said, okay, shut your eyes. Then Gopal closed his eyes. After maybe two, four minutes, closing his eyes, sitting down. And then Subhashadama took one 
flower and put it inside the mouth of Gopal. Gopal said, What is the Rasagulla? What is the Rasagulla? A demon came and ate it. Demon? Which demon? Where is he? Just hearing the name of Asur, like demon, Krishna becomes already like, like enthusiastic. Watch the demon, I'll kill it. I'll kill him. Subhashudama so said, you know the name of the demon, I will tell. Okay, tell the name of the demon, tell, tell me. What's his name? You know everything, huh? Give jai, don't give jai to demons. Don't give jai to demons. The demon is called Lobhasur, the demon of greed. And he say, said, okay, Lobhasur came. Yes, where is Lobhasur? I'll kill him. Subhashudam said, now he's hiding. Where is he hiding? Inside our bellies. We have... Lobhasur means the demon of greed. So Krishna and Braj performed many kinds of with his friends, many kinds of Sakaraskata. The Adwaita Vadis, monists, they want to merge in Brahma. Adwaita Vadis want to merge in Brahma. Brahma is actually the fortress of the body of Lord. The devotees of Dasaras, they consider Krishna as being Ishwara, Supreme Lord, Supreme Controller. The Jeevas in this world, they are deluded by Mahamaya and they think Krishna is an ordinary person. Just like, for example, Duryodhana, Dushasana, Sakuni. They think Bhagavan is a normal person. Mahabharata explains. Actually, Bhagavan took the side of the Pandavas to try to get a reconciliation to avoid the Kurukshetra war. Just you need to give five villages to the Pandavas. Krishna asked to the Kauravas, just give five villages to the Pandavas. Only this. Duryodhana in that assembly, he said, Oh, he's a spy of the of uh, Pandava, so arrest him. Like Duryodhana told the guards to arrest Krishna. But Krishna manifested a fulgent form, like opulent form, and no one could even come close. Duryodhana, the Shasana, they are the embodiment of the sinful activities. Duryodhana, the Shasana. So they tried to arrest Krishna. They think Krishna was an ordinary person. Eh? The they even call Krishna's name, like uh, abusing him. So they said, Oh, these are like a shoe. Like, how can I be friends with him? Like, with Krishna, he's like a shoe compared to us. Like calling him Krishna many bad names and abusing him. Look at the good fortune of the Vrajavasis. It's around there are also many katas. So Krishna in Braj, he performed many beautiful pastimes with his friends. There are many stories. Like Makanchori Lila, many pastimes. Then the butter. The best Lila of Krishna is Makanchori. Then the butter. He started praying. Krishna in Vrindavan is famous as Makanchor Ki Jai. What a thief Ki Jai. Brajeva Siddhan Navanita Chauram. Gopanga Nanja Dukura Chauram. 
अनेक जन्मार्जित पाप चौरम चौरम अग्रगण भूषण एक बार के प्रभु के नाम ले ले All their sins will be stolen, destroyed. Yes. If once, even Sakrita, even even if once you take the holy names of Prabhu of Krishna, 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 when you chant the name of Krishna, immediately all your sins are destroyed. Even the desire to perform sinful activities will disappear. These are the glories of holy names. Krishna in Braj he steals butter. Ma Khan. The Vaishnavas explain. Ma means not, Kam means lust. He doesn't have lust in his heart, he has love, Prem. Bhagavan steals Prem. भगवान क्या चाहते हैं? भगवान वंश प्रेम। जिसके घर में नौ लाख धेनु हैं। So someone Krishna has nine hundred thousand cows in his house। आपके घर में कितने? And you have how many cows? Not even one. Don't even have space. Don't have space for cows in your house, do you? No. और नंद महाराज देखिएगा। But नंद महाराज कितने गाय हैं? He has nine hundred thousand cows. So they will present the birth of Shmatiradka, right? Where the dancers? They are up. They are still not here. No, they are waiting. They are waiting. Okay. In two minutes, I will finish. Many beautiful pastimes of Krishna. In this beautiful pastime, Krishna says that he hasn't eaten butter. Krishna performed many pastimes in Bharaj. Very sweet pastimes in Bharaj. I haven't eaten butter. So, for, so, so if we speak, speak, we'll never finish. Because Hari Ananta, Hari Kata Ananta. God is unlimited and His Kata is unlimited. Never stop. Just the lack of listeners is enough. Because the listeners are like, okay, Maharaj, finish, finish, enough. The listener said, Maharaj, finish. For how long I have to sit down? More. But Bhagavan has such beautiful pastimes. So can describe. Dambanda Lila Katha. Shukadeva Goswami told Parikit Maharaj. But time is so brief. How can we tell all Kathas or so many Kathas, right? Maja Shoda, she bound Gopal. He who is the Supreme Lord of all universes, Mother Jashoda, she bound him with a rope. How is it possible? With her Vatsalya, Raz, her maternal love, she was able to bind him. To kill Bhagavan, you need the rope. The rope of the love, rope of love. Sakyaras, Vatsalya and Madhurya. By Shingaras, you can bind God. In this world, what do we want? Prem. What do you want? You want love. You want to stay where you are loved. Everyone wants that somebody will love me. Even a, even a dog. If you give one piece of chapati to a dog, and after two, three days giving the uh, chapati, the dog will think, this person is my owner, I'll just stay next to his house. Even if you beat the dog, the dog will not go away because you gave him food, because this is love. In this world, all of us, we want what? Love, to think love. That's why our uh, Prem Projan, 
The goal is love. If you get love, what else do you want? You can even eat dry chapati, no problem. But what do you want in the family life? You want love. In that family which there's no love and affection, even you have so much, so much money and everything, everything is useless. This is true or not? There's no love in the family. If the family, husband, wife, there's not no love between husband, wife, family. If every day is a quarrel, we don't like to stay in that family. What do you want? You came back from work, and when you come back home, immediately the argument starts. Will you like it? You think better I give up everything and go to Brindavan? Do you feel like or not? You, what do you want? You want love and affection. All of us. That song Bhagavan is also doing this past things. If Bhagavan is to be bound, should be with love in the heart. The rope of love. Well, there is Sakya Prem Vatsalya or Shringar Prem. We can tie Bhagavan in this way. This kata is so beautiful. So let's have a small kirtan and then I'll speak about the life history, the birth of Shrimati Radhika. Today we need to give the congratulations to Shrimati Radhika. So yesterday, you are all Brajabas, so yesterday you did a beautiful celebration for Sri Krishna. So Nanda Maharaj gave to the old people palanquins to them. To the young people he gave, Nanda Maharaj gave what? Horses. Because young people they want what? To ride on the back of the horse and galloping like this. Isn't it? And also he gave elephants as well. So Hati Dilo Gora Dilo, Ar Dilo Palki, the song is saying. Nanda Kyananda Bhayo. Those who have no teeth, Nanda Maharaj gave what to them to eat for eating? Lapsi, one kind of sweets. Lapsi. Because old people have no teeth, so they can like suck them. But young people, they can, were given a large because they can chew nicely. The young people, young, they have no sharp teeth. Okay, so they can eat. Chak, 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 chak. Ladu kachori. Nanda Maharaj. So in his way, Vrishabhan Maharaj performed such a big festival for the birth of Krishna. He's nothing less than the Maharaj. Like he did such a big celebration. Narada Rishi, after going everywhere, Nandarish came to Braj and he saw that the Brajabhasis were celebrating the birth of Krishna. It was a beautiful festival. Nandarish was thinking. Nandarish thought Shumati Radhika also must have taken birth somewhere around here. That's why Nandarish. He came to the house of Brishabhanu Maharaj. So in different kalpas, Shumanta Radhika appeared in different places. In some kalpas, Shumanta Radhika appeared from the fire. In some kalpas, Shumanta Radhika appeared from a lotus flower. In some kalpas, Shumati Radhika appeared from an egg. In some kalpas, Shumati Radhika appeared in Barshana, in Vrishabhanu Kaur. In some kalpas, Shumati Radhika appeared in Raval. 
Shastra explains, in this Kalpa Shamatran appeared, where did she appear? In Ravel. Who has gone to Ravel? Raise your hands. One Kalpa means one day of Brahma. In this Kalpa Shamatran appeared, where? In Ravel. Next to Mathura. So Gokul is on site, Ravel. It's just there in Jamuna, very close by us. In some kalpas, Shmatrat appeared from the womb of Kirti Dadi. Hari Kata. In different kalpas, the days of Brahma, the Kata takes place in a different way. In this kalpa, Shmatrat, she appeared next to Gokul in one place called Ravel, next to the Jamuna from a lotus flower. So the Katha is very beautiful. Vishwanu Maharaj, early in the morning, he went to bathe in the Jamuna. He bathed. He dipped one dip, second, third. Then he saw one blossom of lotus. No, over that lotus, Shamatirat goes there, a small baby girl. So beautiful. In some couples, she appeared with her eyes shut, in others, she opened with her eyes open. She appeared from the blossom lotus. So Bishwan Maharaj took that baby girl and brought her to to his wife, Kirtida Sundari. And then Kirtida Sundari started taking care of that girl. On that day, Nardarishi. He came in the house of Bishwan Maharaj. He told Bishwan Maharaj, any girl was born here, I mean, any sons or daughters of spring children. And then Bishwan Maharaj showed him Shridam. Nanda Maharaj said, sorry, Nanda Maharaj said, but any girl, did you have any girl? Bishwan Maharaj so simple. Then he brought his effulgent baby girl, Shumanti Radhika. Her body was like effulgent, effulgent like the gold, so brilliant, effulgent. Seeing her, Narada became so absorbed in bhav. And then Narada said, Okay, I'll give Swasti Vachan to her. Some lessons before going. And then Bishwabhan Maharaj, went to bring some ingredients and kept Shmatiratka in front of Nardarishi, like ingredients for Shastivachan, like turmeric, rice, broli, and these things. Sixteen-year-old. And then Lalita Devi said, Nardarishi, quickly start praying. Then Nardarishi started to sing that song, Kripa Kataksha. And after that, suddenly Bhishma Maharaj came back with all the ingredients for the Swasti Vachan, the blessings. Malita Vishak, all of them before disappeared. And then Shamantaratka again was in the form of a baby girl. After the rituals of the people, Narada Rishi performed 
Vacha playing his Bina, playing his Bina. and he continued walking everywhere. And then Bishamanu Maharaj performed the beautiful festival for the birthday of Shmataradka. Now let's celebrate the birthday of Shmataradka. Who is the person who gives the badhai, the celebration? Let's sing now and then they will come for dancing.